Hi, I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. So you just purchased the Mila Classic C1 Pure Suction Canister Vacuum Cleaner. This model is great. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you what all of the components are in your box, what you should have, what they are, and then how to assemble and then use your machine appropriately. So then we're also gonna to touch on bags, filters, and then your bag and filter maintenance as well. So stay tuned, I'm gonna teach you how to use your pure suction. Okay, so this is everything that you should have received in your box. So I'm gonna to touch over a little bit more on what they are. So this is your canister body, this is your handle, your metal telescoping wand. You're gonna have three cleaning attachments that are gonna be stored on this U-shaped clip. It may or may not already be on there, but there's little pictures on where to put each attachment and you just slide them on this um, little clip like so. And then I'll show you where to clip that in a minute. Um, this is your dual function hard flooring and low pile carpeting attachment. How this head works is this little lever will either press out bristles for hard flooring surfaces or it will retract the bristles so you can glide over any carpeted surfaces or delicate um, area rugs that you may have. And then this is your hose, and then you should have a user manual. So just take a quick few moments, make sure that you have everything that you're supposed to have. If you're missing something that I listed here, please reach out to us. Um, we'll do everything that we can and we'll make it right. Um, but just take once over, make sure everything is all here, and then I'm gonna show you how to use your machine. Okay, so now that you've verified that all of your contents are present, we'll go into a little bit more depth on each component just to make sure you know what they are and what you got. So this is your metal telescoping wand. How it telescopes is you're going to squeeze this little, like I call it a sleeve, and you're going to either extend or retract your wand. So this is gonna be how you vacuum your ceilings and any spider webs, how you extend your wand to get under surfaces or under beds or furniture, things like that. This long, weirdly shaped piece, and we always call it like a J. Um, this is your handle. And there's a little lever, a little slide on your handle, and it will open and you can see a hole or it will close. What this is, is it's for your suction control. So if you don't want to bend down and adjust the suction settings on your machine, you don't have to. You can simply just slide your finger, open it to the desired um, level, and then you will adjust your suction. So why you would want to know this would be if you have a delicate area rub, it's very hard to push over when you're on max suction setting. You can simply just open this, it'll let less airflow down to your flooring attachment, and then you can glide over that area rug or carpeted surface a lot easier. And then once you're ready to go back onto hard flooring, you close it and you get the max suction to your attachment. So really nice feature. And then since we're already talking about suction settings, your machine has six suction settings. And most all of the machines come on minimum, so you're going to want to make sure you turn it to the max suction setting. And this little, it's kind of tapered, the smaller portion is going to be um, what suction setting you're on. So when you are vacuuming hard flooring surfaces, you should be on max. If you're doing like a very delicate area rug, try it on max. If not, you may have to go down a few notches or open the um, lever on your handle. So it goes from max, if we're going from max all the way to minimum, there's maximum suction setting, which is like a parquet floor symbol. Then you go down to your carpeted symbol. Then you go to an ear symbol, which is um, if you have animals that are very sensitive to the vacuum sound, or if you want to vacuum while the kids are sleeping, this is a, just a lower decibel volume. And then you go to your um, area rug symbol, your upholstery, and then your drapery. So drapery minimum, um, if you need any specialty cleaning, like you need to clean like delicate furniture or the drapes, blinds, um, minimum is always a really nice um, section setting to go on. So 
And then below this dial, you're gonna have two buttons. The um, button with the circle and the line through it is your power button. And you're going to stop or press pretty hard on it. And you're gonna hear a little bit of a lull, and then it's gonna get up to the suction setting um, that you already have on your machine. So that's normal. Um, the slow start is to prevent your motor um, from just being started and stopped all the time. And it's really nice because it keeps your vacuum motor lasting longer, it puts less stress on it. So really nice feature that Mila's um, has in their machines. And then the other one is your cord winder. So when you're done vacuuming and you wanna retract your cord and you unplug it and your vacuum's off, you're going to step on this and your cord is gonna be sucked up into the body of your canister. It's a really nice feature. So, and then this is your flexible hose. And then I touched a little bit about um, your attachment. This is your dual function head. This is Mila's recommendation for anybody that has delicate carpeting or area rugs because it does not have a spinning brush roll in it. And you also can clean all of your hard flooring surfaces as well. This is also a really great supplemental tool to have um, because it allows you to clean both hard flooring surfaces and any carpeted surfaces with just the little um, flip of a lever. It's very nice. So this is what I use um, for on a daily basis to get my house because I have a dog. Um, and then I use my, then once a week I break out my separate hard flooring attachment and then my my um, carpeting attachment, but majority I use this one and it's um, pretty awesome. So give everything a once over and then what I'm gonna talk about next, so I'm gonna talk to you about your bags and your filters and then we're gonna assemble everything and then you're gonna get to cleaning. So the bags that your pure suction comes um, pre-installed with, the bags that it takes are GN bags and they have a blue clip on the outside of the box and then that blue clip is going to match the blue clip on the inside of your canister. So your bag is clipped into a bag clip and this little bag clip is what stays inside the machine. This is our number one replacement. People just yank it out. They think it's part of the bag. So the only thing that you're going to be removing when you remove your bags or you change them is this part, this little bag collar. It's the only thing that you're going to be taking out of your machine. This is going to stay inside the body of your machine. This is to keep your bag the proper placement so that all of your debris is going into your bag and not spilling out into the um, body of your canister, which is not fun. So your machine has two filters. It has um, an air clean filter and a motor filter. Your air clean filter is under this little grate. I think you can see it if I turn it that way. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pop this up and then this is your air clean filter. And so you're going to replace your air clean and your motor filter, the two, mo the two filters that I'm showing you right now, you're gonna replace those every four vacuum bags. And then your motor filter is inside the body of your canister. It's in this grate. And how you take that out is you're going to pull it down. I'm just at a different angle. And this is your motor filter. This is a little spongy filter. And when you purchase your boxes of bags, your motor filter is going to have some cut lines in it. So just take your existing filter and put it on. Um, oh, it actually looks like this. I have them right here. So this is what the replacement motor filters are going to look like, and this is what your replacement air clean filters are going to look like. These two filters are included in the genuine boxes of Mila bags. Um, we always recommend you purchase genuine bags. They last longer, they filter better, they're HEPA filtered. If you're feeling one of them now, it's like a thick pillow. It's very, it's nine layers in here, and they fill up far more than a generic bag ever will. And they don't leak out on um, anything. So you see how there's a self seal on there. That means that there's no pathogens that I'm going to be coming in contact with when I'm cleaning or when I'm removing my bag. So this is a really good thing. Always buy genuine. I promise you'll save a lot more in the long run. So how to change your bags is the direction of the arrows on the bag is going to match the direction um, on the bag clip. So you're just going to line it up and you're going to push it until it clicks. And this is normal. This just means that um, you have a full size canister and the bag is gonna fill to the full capacity of your canister. So I just tuck it in like this and there you go, good to go. See, pretty easy. So the two filters that you need that I just touched on, your air clean and your motor filter, these two filters, 
they come standard in the genuine boxes of Mila bags. So you take the GN bags, you're gonna get four bags and two filters per box of bags. So everything that you need is already included in the boxes of bags. You don't have to purchase anything additional. It's very nice. And then I did touch about this Vario clip. Um, once we install this little clip, your tools are going to attach to the body of your canister and roll around with you. So if you lay your canister down like this, what we're going to attach first is going to be your hose. And it doesn't matter which end, they're both the same. You're just going to push it in. You're going to hear a little clip or click. <laughs> And then the other end, you're gonna attach this wider end of your handle. And you'll also hear a click as well. And then to your handle, you're going to attach your wand. And you're gonna hear a clicking sound with every single thing that you're doing right now. And then you're gonna attach your flame attachment. Again. And then I always like to show people there's a really nice way of storing your machine like this. And then on the back side, the bottom that is um, touching this table right here, there's also another reservoir as well. So you can stand your vacuum up and also put in your flooring attachment as well. And then you can wind your hose a little bit so it'll just kind of consolidate your vacuum. This is how I store my machine because I use it every day. So <laughs> this is what I do. Um, and then this clip, you're going to see this like little protrusion on your hose right here. This little clip snaps on there, and then your tools are just going to ride about with you wherever you go. It's a really nice feature. And then I do like to always mention to people that you do have the option of removing your handle from your wand and attaching a cleaning attachment. This is really good. This is how I clean my couches. And then, you know, if you really wanted to, you can remove your wand and you can attach your flooring attachments to the base of your handle as well. So if you want to um, get a really good deep clean on your stairs, or if, um, like that's what I, I do from like with the landing on the stairs, so I'll just vacuum it with that, and then the other stairs will do this. But for hard stairs, our flooring stairs, you'd want to use something a little bit gentler and you'd have the bristles, the bristles pressed out on this attachment as well. So you can have a lot of options. Uh, if you don't need the added length of this wand, you do have options to kind of make it um, tailor it to make sure that you can clean whatever you want and then some. So let me just slide this over here. Um, this is how you install your machine. You install your hose to your handle, to your metal telescoping wand, and then to any of your flooring attachments. And um, I did show you how to change your bags and your filters, how to assemble it, a little bit of ins and outs on the different um, accessories included in your machine. However, if this was information overload, you have any other questions, we're always here to help. We have a live chat feature on our website. So if you go to our website, you can click um, chat with an expert. Um, during our business hours, we're there. You can chat with us. If not, leave a message for us. We'll get back to you. Um, same as with um, phone or email. If for some reason um, we're off hours, don't feel like you can't reach out to us. We answer any and all emails, chats, and um, phone calls and voicemails. So if there's anything else that you are still concerned about or um, have any questions about, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. But I did want to congratulate you on your purchase of your classic C1 Pure section and welcome you to the Mila family. Mila's are our favorite brand. Um, they're just so good and they have unmatched filtration, suction power, and longevity. So we're just really happy to welcome you to the Mila family and to our family. If you have anything else that you need to ask us or any comments that you'd like to um, leave with us, always feel free to reach out. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market. Happy vacuum. Try not to clean too much now.